guys, me and uh, Sheikh Fahim and Mia. Sheikh Abbas as well. Asalaamu Alaikum. We are going to go do some, um, uh, do some Umrah. I mean, do an Umrah, inshallah. So, something known as Umrah Badal. Now, Umrah Badal, you can do it. So, it's an Umrah essentially on someone, on behalf of someone who's passed away or someone who's physically unable to do so. So, they can't uh, do Umrah for themselves. And what's not included in that is that they can't be someone who's going through a financial problem because maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them the means uh, to do it soon, you know? So you can do it uh, on someone's behalf, inshallah. That's the two conditions, that's the two types of people you can do yeah, it for. Inshallah. inshallah. So it's, uh, it's really amazing, subhanallah. And Umrah, right now in the in the month of Ramadan, it's like doing Hajj with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah, subhanallah. subhanallah. James, my brother's gem after gem, alhamdulillah. Right guys, Alhamdulillah, we have arrived at Masjid Al-Aisha. It was, it was a mission uh, to get here because Brother Fahim had given the wrong directions, but Alhamdulillah, it's a blessing. Um, we took an Uber. Uber cost around about 80, um, 80 to 100 reals. Um, I would say, well, because we went the wrong way, that's why. Yeah, so it cost us 101 reals because we went the wrong way. But uh, usually I think it's about 80. So there were six of us, so it's not too bad. And uh, here we're going to make Nia for Umrah and do our two Nafal. And inshallah then head back to the Haram to do our Umrah. Like Brother Fahim said earlier on, if you want to do Umrah for a deceased person or somebody who is physically unable to do so, then inshallah you can come here and do the same thing. So may Allah accept it and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it a source of blessings and forgiveness for everyone. I uh, mean. Hey guys, when you're in the beautiful city of Mecca, you've got to have a bit of fun, innit? You've got to have a bit of fun, inshallah. <laughs> Go on, swing high then. I can't because I'm stuck. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun, boy. Yeah, man. So, this is the Masjid Al Aisha, as you can see there. It says. Haram starts here and Haram ends here. So. so this is the blessed place where Aisha may be pleased with her entered into the state of a Haram. To think that the Prophet and his beloved wife Aisha may Allah be pleased with her were both here. Subhanallah. <laughs> MashaAllah is buzzing here. Masjid Al Aisha. They'll accept it from everyone and I pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses every single one with an accepted Umrah and forgives every single person here of their sins and every single person who comes here until the day of judgment for Umrah, for the intention of Umrah. May Allah accept their Umrah and forgive all their sins. Alhamdulillah, nothing done, intentions made. Labaik Allahumma labaik, labaik ala sharika laka labaik. Inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika laka. We'll accept it. And again, I'm making this video just to show you guys the process of doing a second Umrah. Um, I will show you as much as I can, but again, it's all kind of relatively limited. And again, this video is not to show off. It's not to say I'm doing another Umrah, look at me, or anything like that. You guys know my intentions. My intention is to show you guys how Umrah is done the second time round. Mashallah Aisha, you come here, you make your niya, you read Talabiya, and then you get, and then you head back to the Haram. Again, then you do Tawaf, you do the Tunafal, you drink Zamzam, you go Safa Marwa, you do Sai, and you get your hair cut again. So, same process, normal Umrah. The only difference is you come here and 
This is where you keep your intention. But this is for any second Umrahs after. The first Umrah you need to fly into the Miqats. How are you? I'm fine, thank, thank you. Okay, what's your names? My name is Ahmad. What, okay, what's your name? Ahmad. What's yours? Ismail. Yours? Ammar. Ammar. Safwan. Safwan. Ahmad. 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 Do you like ice cream? Should we get some ice cream? Yes. yes. Inshallah. Let's Mango go. Mango vanilla. Vanilla? Mango vanilla. Mango vanilla. Shalom. Okay. Bismillah. Mango vanilla. Again, guys. I'm showing you guys because it's, it's about having a bit of fun as well. So, alhamdulillah, we're taking these guys. They're blessing us with their presence to get some ice cream, yes? Yes. Yes, my G. Alhamdulillah. Who oh, are there more? Are there more? More are they? Right, let's go get some ice cream. Right, we're going to get some ice cream, alhamdulillah. Yes? Again, these, this ice cream is banging. Yes? Guys, it's super super busy, but Alhamdulillah, we have arrived at the clock tower. Just going to go in and do Umrah. So, Inshallah, we're going to do Umrah together. Inshallah. We'll accept it. I mean. So, this river is saying, look up there. It's full. Umrah is full. So, right now, we can't get into the Haram because he's saying it's full for Umrah. So, we're going to get some food, Inshallah, and then come back. Pizza, Masha Allah, brother. Brother Sami, Masha Allah. That's the brother uh, I just met. Make the offer him that he gets a job because he is looking for a job at the moment. What's his ranch? I think this is ranch, I and mean, this is something known as a French Chips, pizza. And then French pizza, I don't know. Another pizza? I don't know why it's French, but. Masha Allah, plenty of pizzas and a burger as well. Bismillah. We went to get ice cream, but the queues are crazy, crazy. So, just decided to get some of this.
Hi guys, Alhamdulillah, Fajr has been done. We will accept it. Second Umrah has been done. And I am walking back to my hotel, getting the bus, and walking the streets of Makkah without any chappal on, without any footwear on, because my Umrah companion, my roommate, Abbas, has my bag. I told him to hold my bag whilst I go get um, Zam Zam. And next thing you know, we get separated. I do my own by myself. And I got no, got no chapel on. Alhamdulillah, that's an adventure. Always be prepared to get lost and get away from your group or whatever. And always, and don't be frightened as well. I was gonna say that, don't be frightened that if you have to do things on your own, uh, get yourself familiar with everything. And don't worry, you're in the house of Allah, everything will be okay. And um, so just to walk back barefooted but again alhamdulillah i enjoy these little struggles if you want to call it that just so we can um, appreciate the blessings of allah in every single way we can Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Always, always, always praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thank Him. Allah is very, very generous, honestly. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'll see you guys in the morning. Inshallah. May Allah call us again and again and again. Ameen. Oh, a day has been, Alhamdulillah. Um, Tarawi, Qiyam. Qiyam was amazing, honestly. That was amazing, Alhamdulillah. Today had a great day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video snippets of all kind of haram and everything like that. My final message to you for this vlog is you have to come. You have to come, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.